Welcome back guys. So I'm now a uh, exterminator man. I got a roach problem in the booth. No, I'm just kidding. I'm spraying this uh, dust control from DeVilbus I've been using lately here in the corners because you guys know that I paint a lot of parts off the car. And so this stuff really works well on keeping down the uh, dust and dirt from bellowing up in the corners. And you can even spray it on the walls where you're doing the parts to keep this a little sticky and it won't blow up dust as much. So anything we can find to make less dirt in our paint jobs, that way it'll save us later on buffing. So let's shoot this job today and it's 1J9. All right, so we're shooting this whole side of this vehicle here, two new doors and a new rocker. And uh, that stuff really works well for keeping down the dirt. So what I'm doing is every morning, I'll uh, clean up the booth and then I'll spray a coat of this stuff down. Cause by the time you get the clear going in the booth, that's gonna hold down a lot of the dirt. So this stuff will work well for you guys at home too, spraying in garages or, you know, booths without the, uh, pits in them so the other booth don't use this stuff because it has a full grate system so you guys see this one here has the grate in the center so I could spray it all around the edges of this in the corners when I'm doing stuff close to the wall and it'll definitely help to keep down the uh the dust and dirt and like I said the first job after that I'll end up having clear you know once the clear gets going it kind of holds things down better so when I start off on Mondays, definitely want to spray this stuff to keep down the dirt and it's a good product. So let's shoot this job today and uh, see how it comes out. Two new doors, a raw bump, uh, rocker molding and the whole side. Taking it all inside the jams as you guys know I like to do the best uh, way. That's the way I like to do it. So let's go. I wanted to tell you about that stuff is also it doesn't stay wet once it dries it's sticky and it holds down the dirt so you don't have to worry about your hose being in water like back in the old days I used to wet down the floors but then I'd be fighting keeping water off the job from the hose slinging or it just dripping onto the actual uh, car from the hose so I've been using this stuff for about a week now and I've told you it's actually worked pretty good especially in these corners here because you got this door here and as you're spraying it, it's turbulating in the corners, the air, and it'll kick up the dirt, especially on little shelves, if you guys have shelves in your booth. So good product so far, I've been using it and liking it. And it comes with that pump sprayer, if I didn't tell you already. It comes with five gallons of it and then that pump sprayer. So let's get into basing this one out.
So that's two coats on the whole job and I'm probably gonna put two drops on this color because this is one that tends to be more transparent, this 1J9, so. And like I said, with that stuff, with that uh, dust control, you know, there's only so much you can do to get a clean job. So to me, every little thing you can do to help it is worth it. And let's see how this job comes out using this dust control, especially over in these corners here. Because I was telling you about how it bellows up. So you guys see me using the old school mask and uh, my respirator finally went bad. I've had that thing about seven years now. And uh, I called up for a new one and they said it'd be two months on back order to get one of them respirators. So I'll be using this for a while and I'm actually gonna get a full face uh, mask like this for a while till I get my other one back. So everything's on back order, including these. So let's see how clean this comes with the uh, dust control. And this here color is definitely one you guys wanna check with the lights off, make sure you got coverage on it. Cause I've had this color bite me before, looking like it was covered, but it wasn't. So I always check them, mainly all of them, but some of these I know that you gotta check. And this is one of them for me with this line of paint. So we're all covered up, we're gonna clear it now. So this stuff works well. That job came out really clean and I was real happy with that one. Not even a dirt nib in that one door that was right up against this wall. So I'm gonna start using this like I told you. First one of the day to keep it all uh, wet until the clear lays down. So to me it's a good product and anything I could do to get a cleaner job I'm all for it. So thanks for watching and see you next time.